what's up youtube yes i am back for another video this is a long awaited video but i wanted to show you basically my frosted heights we were able to finish up this build on stream the other day so i wanted to go ahead and give you guys a nice little tour and of course i got my little stitch buddy with me um so right over here to the side we just have goofy stall nothing too much or too special um over here i have just like an entryway or like a a gathering i don't know how to say it but if you guys have ever watched game of thrones and you know when like they all have like the king sit here and bring you the problems or whatever like if it was like Targaryens or whatever you guys know what i'm talking about you just come and you talk to the king and queen you tell them the problems and they try to fix it for you so this is just what i have over here by the way i'm a big game of thrones fan y'all let me know in the comments did you guys like the new game of thrones let me know in the comments right now please um so right here is just a nice little entry i really love this fountain so 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 much and i just have like a seating area with these trees i do love these trees and for some reason i really was really how do i say hard-headed because i wanted to put these trees in the frosted heights because i just felt like it was a good add to it or a good touch you guys let me know if you guys like this little centerpiece entryway another sitting area and i love these like sitting how do you say like stools sitting area sitting plot this is probably like my favorite area right now of course stitch is trying to serenade me go ahead stitch go ahead and serenade me love it love to see it then we come around this way um, where we have the lake or the pond that I can never actually really fish in, but it looks pretty. It looks pretty. Um, we come around this way, this nice hot cocoa stand. We come over here. I have the well right outside because this is where we're keeping the deers. Okay. Keep the deers, got the, you know, the well water, you know what I'm saying? Uh, outpost you know people to come sit down get nice and cozy by the fire while Kristoff is watching all the deers in his sled you know nothing too much nothing too major pick this up pick this up they got a little eating area i guess there's a guard dog out here for the foxes that be out here just come and get their little food nice little water and then come back this way right over here i just love when it's snowing too oh my gosh it looks amazing we have um anna's castle basically right here nice little snow castle over here and this is just very very random i didn't know what i wanted to do but we put it right here if you know anybody that wants to come get a kettle get some apples put that right there in the entryway i really love these trees right here so coming back to this entryway we have the snow globe who lives in the snow globe we're gonna say olaf that's why i wanted to keep it nice and close to the to anna's house basically we're gonna say he lives in there and we're gonna come around this way let's pick up this wood the mess is crazy pick up this wood and this is what we i like to call the spa area nice little frozen spa area i don't know if you ever seen those like frozen lagoons that they be doing like they get into like cold water so this is the vibe that we're going for and i put the clouds on the top just because i want it to be extra just in case of the times that it's not snowing in frosted heights at least they have the cloud so we have like you know somebody to change their stuff get them a nice thing a hot cocoa if they wanted to put more water in their little spa area their nice little robes you know nice and comfy cozy spa like type of thing i wanted to do basically for this area not too much but basically just enough if i was to go to like an outdoor spa i would like for it to look something like this then if you come around back let's say this person needs to use the bathroom come around back we have the two outposts you know what i'm saying for our guests to use the bathroom if they need to nice little walkway entryway and then i left this area open for me to be able to walk into the cave and again once with the trees and then now we're gonna come over dun, 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 dun. we're gonna come over to the castle area 
And now on this castle area right over here, we just have a nice little seating area with the fountain. I feel like it's only right to put the Frosted Heights fountain in Frosted Heights. So put it over here. Then we have probably one of my favorite items, um, the carriage. Nice little area, you know, very giving very much so ball, you know, because we're in the presence of the castle. Then over here, I have the well. I wanted the well to be the main focal point, basically, um, because my house is right there. So it just makes it a little bit easier. And then I have the dreamlight trees in this area. And I have all these red trees because I like the way the color contrasts. And I'll show you guys a bird's eye view in a second. The color from the dreamlight tree and the red trees, I feel like they really go well together in this area. You guys let me know in the comments, though. So now that we have the castle, right? If we come back this way, we have, you know, for my little companion, whatever companion I'm rocking with. Right now, I'm rocking with the new companion that just dropped with uh, the update. He has his little house and everything like that. You know, right now, the fox is there. So this is a nice little place for the companion to be at. You know what I'm saying? Then I have, you know, in the backyard, we have the food table. You know, it's always cold, so you can never go wrong with putting hot chocolate everywhere in Frosted Heights, honestly. You know, this is the back area for people to, you know, get their food, uh, you know, read the, the news. I We're using our imagination, and we're going to say that scroll is like the daily news, okay? Then we come around this area. This area is going to be like very calm, very chill, just sitting down giving you all the vibes of just you know just very chillaxing just came home you just want to read a book just chill and outdoors you know take off your jewelry and just uh, relax so i'm gonna come this way and that's basically it i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys basically like a bird's eye view and then we're gonna walk through of what it looks like at night so the bird's eye view basically right we didn't miss anything Starting in the entryway. This is what the entryway looks like from a bird's eye view. The hail, or not the hail, I'm sorry, the hay stick. <laughs> the hay with all the deers. The spa area, the, the castle, the igloo, nice little outpost area. The carriage, you know what I'm saying? The nice little areas right here. And then just a quick walkthrough of what it looks like at night. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me. What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away 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 and another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. All right, guys, and that's basically it. I, I do hope that you enjoyed my tour of my Frosted Heights. Um, thank you guys so much again for tuning into another video. Don't forget, guys, I do stream. Go ahead and check out my community post channel for my streaming schedule for the week, as it does vary. You know, variety gamer with a variety schedule. Appreciate that. Don't forget to smash that like button as well if you did appreciate the tour. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.